October the 4th is in the books here on Wall Street. Here's the New York Minute. All the attention was actually on the other side of the Atlantic. If you take a look at the FTSE 100, you can see it broke through 7,000 for only the second time ever. Historically very impressive, but if you take a look at how it's done in dollar terms, you can see a lot of that is down to the steady erosion of the pound over time. Now, if we compare the FTSE to the rest of the world, you can see that it's actually lost half its value compared to the rest of the planet since peaking in 98. And if we zoom in on what's happened this year, you can see that it has drastically lost ground on the rest of the world since the Brexit referendum in June. That still plainly creates great concern. Now, elsewhere, we also had a fascinating day on the gold market. It had its worst day of the year, and that's largely because of concerns about interest rates. If we take a look at what happened to the euro during the day, you can see it weakened sharply against the dollar early on. That was because of hawkish comments from the Fed. But then it regained on suggestions that the ECB might cut back on its own support for markets. And that's the New York Minute.